Hello everybody, good day to you, welcome back. Got ourselves a 2002 Jeep Grand Cherokee, I think that's a WJ four wheel drive. It has the 4.7 liter V8 V8 Ocho. And uh, we were doing some rear brakes on this and uh, pulling the rear axles to uh, change some axle seals. You see we've got a pretty substantial leak right here. Uh, same thing over here on this side. Now these are, uh, they're press on bearings on the axle shafts and uh, we have to unbolt this flange right here in order to get the uh the flange to come loose now we have a bit of a problem going on see while attempting to get these uh these nuts to come loose you can see hang on i'm gonna get a good bite on it here it's uh it's stuck there we go we can see that these studs are turning inside of that flange and i can't get uh i can't get these things to back loose the issue is, is those studs are splined and they're supposed to just grip into that flange right there and those splines have stripped out. So what I need to do is get in here and put a bead with a welder right here on that stud and that one and the other one there. That way the stud will stay in place on the flange and I'll be able to take the, uh, the nuts off the back side of it. So I'm going to go fetch the welder. I never had to weld a car in order to change an axle seal and a bearing before. But uh, I guess there's a first time for everything. So let's drag this unit out, get it hooked up, and uh, and buzz a bead onto that stud so we can't get these flanges to come out. Yay! Opening Z hood. Yeah. Gravity. Alrighty, now one of the first little issues that I'm running into here is I'm having a hard time attaching my ground cable to anything. Well, that was loud attaching the ground cable to anything to get a good ground on it so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to just vice grip some vice grips to those studs and then i can connect the ground cable uh, to my vice grips it's just going to give me a click some more surface area here to get a good bite to make a good electrical contact with uh with that stud right there so let's back up a little bit i'm going to get in there with the welding tip and we're going to put a bead here here and one right there and that should allow me to uh to get those bolts to come out and then we can get this axle shaft uh out of the tube okie dokes welding mask coming in putting that thing on now we're safe let's get this party started now what i don't want to do is weld the flange uh to the axle tube i just want to weld the uh the stud right here to the flange that is it get in there there we go Uh, nope, more speed. There we go, a little bit more heat. Oh, I am not a welder, by the way. Not a welder. But I can, uh, I can model my way through it. That's... Probably right on point. If it's not, then uh, I'll have to weld it again. Let's get the grips out of here and see if this is going to break loose or not. Now, this should not be affecting the performance or the integrity uh, of this particular flange. We're just... Uh, oh, that, that's a horrible weld. It didn't even penetrate. Bad angle from a dangle here. Let's try this again. I failed epically. See that? I got a, I got the bead on the stud, but nothing on the, uh, nothing on the flange there. Round two, reclip. Try again. Mm. Maybe. I wonder if I should pull the tip off of this to get, uh, get more like access in the hole. I'm not running gas, so I should be able to do this without the without that tip attached, right? Yes, no, maybe. Let's try it again. Did I get it? I think I got it. Let's find out today. Going back in with the wrench and there we go. Now it's turning. 
good. Yeah, that's one down. Yeah, only one of these studs or nuts came off. Yeah, that's gonna work. I'm gonna speed things up with the ratcheting wrench. Let's see here, we'll slip that guy on right like so. There we go. Yes, sir, it's working. Good. Yep, slippages. You don't want that. Yep, this is gonna work. Okay, we're back on schedule. This is totally gonna work. Is that hot? Negative. Okay, one down, two to go. Ooh, that is hot. Warm, hot. All right, we're one down. Uh, looks like two to go. Let's get a bead on this other stud in there. Zzz. Did we penetrate? Not exactly. Not a welder. A little bit more. All right, that one's good. Got a beat on that one. One more up top. Okay, one more up top. Let's get that one hit real quick. Good beat on that one. Now I should be able to uh, get those nuts off. Let's see here. Let's get in there with a uh, with an impact and spin this guy out. Okay, 14 coming in. It's working. Got it. There's our nut. Hooray! And one more right up back over here. Okay, we're not gonna get an impact on that one. There's just, there's no space. So, back to the clicky ratchet wrench. Oh, this is nice. Yep, it's turning. We're gonna win. Pull this guy off right now. Ah, uh, good. Victory is closer. Okay, that's the last of the nuts. Need to get behind this thing with a pry bar some and start walking it out away from the, uh, the axle tube. Maybe I can pull it. Nope, pry bar needed. All right, let's see if I can get this thing to nut its way out some. Come on. Keys come out. There it goes, it moved. Now we're going somewhere. Come all the way out. Slide hammer? I may have to slide hammer this out. I don't want to pry on things too much. We'll end up bending brake shoes and whatnot. We don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the slide hammer out. That's probably best. Okay, so we've got this flange adapter here. It's threaded in the center. We're just gonna throw some lug nuts on to this axle. Tighten this down. And then we're gonna screw the hammer into this threaded area here. And we'll give it a tug. So here's our slide hammer unit. Long rod with the hammer. Take this guy, screw it in like so. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay, so right here with the right hand, I'm gonna pull on the rod, and then I'm gonna operate the hammer feature. And it's gonna pull this axle out. Come out. Close. I think the studs are binding on that flange. Hang on here. Let's get that uh, up. There's some axle fluid leaking. We're getting somewhere.
Release. Got it. Good. Well, let's get a closer look on how this is functioning here. So we've got this flange. We have, let's go down here. We've got our flange, we've got our bearing. Looks like a, some kind of bearing spacer. The race is in there. We're gonna have to pull that out with a slide hammer. And this has to go over to the press so we can press this off of the axle. Uh, very hard to maintain design. All righty, we're rolling the press over. I brought it over here from in the corner because the corner is full of Subaru parts and it's really hot over there. So we're over here right now where I've got some more light and some more space. What we need to do is set these axles up in the press and press uh, press the axle off of the bearing and off the seal. So this, uh, this is gonna be kind of interesting. I hope the press can accommodate these axles. If not, uh, I'll have to take them elsewhere and have somebody else press them. Fingers crossed, hope this works. getting kind of set up here. I've got the bearing press around the plate. Uh, it should be in a position where I can start the press. I need to shim this with some blocks just to make up a little bit of space here. And we're gonna press down and push this axle out from its flange. That's the, uh, that's the idea anyway. Ooh, you can hear uh, there's more destruction going on in the background. We're loading up all this stuff from the wall that we tore down. There we go. Is this gonna work? Yes. Yes, it is. All right, here goes nothing. I'm beginning to press now. It's either gonna work or it's gonna crush the wood or it's gonna slip off and not work. So far, we're crushing the wood. Yeah, nope, epic fail, not working. Ooh, lost it. Okay, trying again. We're getting some down pressure on it. Uh, okay, something happened. And we lost the bearing. So the, looks like the bearing itself is disintegrating. Well, since it's broken, let's keep sending it and see what happens. It's either gonna come out or it's not. I think it's going. Oh, so sketchomatic. Running a little sideways too. Come on. It's this guy right here holding us up. Okay, so this is starting to press sideways. It, this is not working. My configuration is all wrong. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and chop this thing off. We've got a cut off wheel. Cliff left it here. We're gonna chop into this and air hammer it off and that, uh, that should work. Okay, I've got a cut uh, into this little uh, bearing spacer here. I'm gonna try to get after it with an impact and drive this thing off. It should, uh, maybe I can break it. Let's see here, loud noises. Hmm. I don't know, he's on there pretty good. Cutting. Cut into it deeper. Okay, let's try to let's try to press this thing down some more. 
and see if this is gonna come off. I, I got a deep cut into it and I'm hoping that relieves some of the, the pressure on the shaft. Maybe it'll press out, maybe it won't. Let's give it a shot. I'm cranking. Oh, yeah, it moved. See that? Yeah, good. I'm off. Yep, it's moving. We might win. I hope the race for that bearing comes out. Come here. Yep. The race is also coming out. And it looks like the studs are bottomed out. So we need to reset and reshin this. It's coming out. We're gonna win. This is more effort than I thought it was gonna be. But we're gonna win. Yep, it's moving. Good. Slide that in. Okay. Okay, I reshimmed it with some more plate steel. Get a, about another half inch out of it. So let's continue with the press. Let's get that, uh, let's get the bearing out. Here we go. It's breaking. Got it. That's what I wanted. Ow! Put my finger on it. There's the seal. Nice. Okay, well this was a lot of fun, not really, since uh, we've got the wrong kind of press set up here. I was afraid this was going to happen, um, it is what it is, I mean we got the thing off so now I can get the new one pressed on. That'll be easy because I can just set the press up, flip this over, have the shafts running down through the press and then just press from the other side of the flange. Now my problem is, is we pretty much annihilated these bearing press flanges, they've been welded on. They've been pressed on. I'm not even going to try to save those. I ordered another set. So uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and grab the other axle shaft and get this one, that one taken apart. Uh, and then uh, I can pick this back up once, um, once those flanges arrive. So now the real question is, is where is, there it is. There's our flange. Uh, let's see here. I'm, well, since I have no fear of ruining this, maybe, Maybe I can just give it some full send action without, uh, put that right there. I'll just send it full send style without having to really worry about ruining this flange right here because I, I see no way to get this thing to come off with, with the equipment that I have on hand without uh, bending that flange. Because I've got to get behind it in order to press this off and I can't get around this bearing retainer to press that off. So. I really have no choice except for to uh, to damage this flange uh, in order to remove it. So we're just going to do what we did the first time, and uh, I'll just replace the flange uh, when the new one arrives. That's kind of the kind of the plan on my ever evolving non plan plan. Let's decrease that. Let's get this one set back up, and uh, we'll start the start the press action to get this one removed as well. Okie dokes. Axle shaft number two has the bearing separator plate installed behind the bearing retainer plate. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure we're going to bend the crap out of this one trying to get this to press off. Um, rather than uh, trying to be delicate with it like the last time, I'm just going to set this up and full send it because I've ordered another one of these and we have another bearing and we have another retainer and we have another seal. So I don't care if I ruin this one this time. I've, I've already conceded to the fact that it's going to be damaged. So uh, let's, just, uh, let's just send it full send style, see what happens. Uh, I think that's going to be okay. I, um, I found some C-channel uh, steel in the shop and I cut it down. Uh, I'm going to try to use these as uh, some shims as opposed to the 4x4 blocks because these were starting to crush and deform. Yeah, right here. And I didn't like that. So we're going to try it with some steel ones and see what happens. Oh, this is cool. Look, unforeseen challenge number 75 on this. This axle is longer than this axle. So now this axle really doesn't fit in my press, so I need to figure out something else to get this to come out. Now I'm, now I'm not happy. This is this is going downhill. It's going down like the Hindenburg, quickly. All right, so I'm standing around staring at this, and I think I have an idea. Since I can't make this go down any farther, and I can't make this go up any farther, maybe I can just cut this thing off or make it shorter. I think I'll. I'm gonna try that. Let's take this thing apart. I'm gonna take this section of the press over to the bench. 
and I'm gonna try to uh, cut this off with a cutoff wheel and then perhaps after doing that I'll have enough space here I'm gonna try that next seems to be a good idea or it's a bad idea and I'm gonna ruin my press but uh, I don't know we'll see show what I need to do is pull this jack out of here come out jack yeah oh there it is yeah let's pull this thing apart let's try that we'll just chop it to pieces is it gonna work I don't know but it's probably worth a shot I mean if it doesn't work I can just weld some stuff in there and undo what I did yeah we're gonna do that put that over there let's get this piece of steel out of the, out of the vise here and back it up great we've moved on to metal fab work and things of that nature hooray let's see how are we gonna do this you know it had to be a jeep too it's this guy's fault because he's a jeep person I brought other jeep. you have cursed me with, with jeepages hey come here real quick I, i'm all out of hands tighten the vice in thank you sir just crank her on down crank her down that's, that's good not too much yeah Circular cutter or sawzall. I'm going sawzall. I'm gonna use the sawzall. Yep, definitely sawzall. Now, seeing as how that has to be somewhat of a precision cut, we're gonna bust out a new blade, full contact metal, Diablo style. Not sponsored, that's just what I use. Let's see, we'll lose the, our wood cutting blade and install the carbide metal cutting blade. Now you can go in the bucket. See if this is gonna work. I think it works. But better. Okay, here goes nothing. Let's see what happens. It needs to be square and flush. That's uh, about as flat as it's gonna get, I think, too. Okay, let's put the press back together and try again. Yay! Come on, press piece. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. We're flush, we're flat. That'll work, okay. Back to the press. This is taking way too long. find out okay all right trying again yeah now we got plenty of space this is good that's that's what we need here I like it okay we're set up a little bit of space there no worries we can shim that with a socket uh, we've got the C channel in here on the bearing press both sides that means that the flange for the axle is clear that should be plenty strong enough to not bend or go anywhere Let's uh, let us initiate the press. Oh, that socket doesn't fit. No worries. We'll just run it down as it is. I'm sure there's enough throw in that jack to 
to get it to uh, make contact with the uh, top of the axle over here. Here we'll do the vice grip jack handle method. Bring her down. This is totally going to work much more better than uh, than that first method with the wood blocks and that stupid thing sticking out. I don't even know why that's there. It's easier to add things up, add things in to take space than it is to subtract, as we've just seen. Let's see, my hazard front jack is leaking. Yep. And I did steal that one from Abe. He says hazard front. I like it, it's catchy. Uh, where's my jack handle? Jack handle, jack handle, where are you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my new jack handle. Let's see what happens here. Is it gonna work? Yeah, it is. And if it's not, pieces are gonna fly out and it's gonna hurt. Like that. Yeah, that, that bearing plate thing has no chance to survive this. Come on. You can do it. I'm out. I might need to reset this, uh, this bearing plate device here. There we go. Something broke. Okay, I do need to reset. See how we're, uh, we're bottomed out on our studs down here now. So I need to reset this, make this smaller. We've got some space to work with. Show, Let's back off the jack a little bit. There we go. Woohoo, thing almost fell out. Not okay. Okay. So we'll squeeze that in some. Actually, I wonder if I should flip it over now. Yeah, I'm gonna flip this over. It's a convex. Or concave, depends on how you're looking at it. It's one of those cons. Confident. Convoluted. Contrail. Conjugate. Conjugate, good one. Vocab word of the day, conjugate. I passed high school. Did you? I think. Me too. I did that once. It was awesome. I had a victory in academia. So boring and painstaking and annoying. Not my favorite type of operations here. Come out. Gravity. Okay. Flip this over. Try it at another angle down here. See how that works. Is it gonna work? Well, I mean, we've established it will work. There we go. It has no choice but to work. It has no choice. It is my will. We command it. It's going to come apart. The, the key here is controlled demolition. You know, we don't want it to fly apart in a, in a hazardous manner, sending projectiles in all directions. That'll cause that OSHA thing to happen. <laughs> Insert clip of truck dragging down wall. <laughs> no, 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 I had a permit for that. <laughs> you can drag down walls with trucks. I pulled down entire buildings before with trucks. Whoa. Yeah, it's really cool. Come on, screw it in. That's good. Okay, let's try this again. Take two, press two, round two, number two. Set that guy in. And... Hang on. Need to go up with the jack some more. We're gonna get these uh, pieces of C-channel in as far as we can. And center the work on the 
on the press here. Hang on. Right about there. Right there. That's good. That all looks good from my point of view. Okay, continuing the press. Uh, there's an angle here. Is there? Hold that. Yeah, there is. I wonder if we bent the press. Huh. It's fine. I'm gonna send it. Just send it, eh? That's exactly what we're doing. Full send action. Well, you're in the danger zone. Watch out. You do not want injury. See it start to collapse the bearing. Come out, devil bearing. Pressure's coming out. There it goes. Wow, it's working. Yay! Got it. Yeah! There we go. Bearing retainer. Bearings, seal, destroyed. Seal retainer, all of it destroyed. But, we got it apart without destroying the axle, which is good. And I made some new toys to work with my press, which is also good. Okay, well, we are now in limbo until I get the rest of the parts here. Okay, so here's how this is supposed to go back together. And we wanna reinstall all this stuff. We're gonna put our new retainers in. We've got our seal. We've got a bearing, which is a two-piece bearing. Here's the outer race, and here's the inner race. And actually, this outer is two pieces. See that little line right there? Now, half of the outers are still in the axle tubes. We have to extract those, but when this goes together, we put our bearing over it, then we will put, I'm sorry, we'll put our seal over it, then the bearing, then the retainer, then we will set this up in the press and then press the axle down into this until it bottoms out, and it, then we can insert the entire axle assembly back into the tubes uh, on the truck over there. So. We don't have, we do not have the, uh, the flange retainers here just yet. We need to pull these races out of the axle tubes and I'll have to use the, uh, the slide hammer and the, uh, the bearing puller device to, uh, to get these guys out. So let's see, there's the, there they are right there. It's one of these two it should fit in there so I can pull on, uh, on that race. Let's see if this is the one. This is not the one. This is gonna be hard to get out also. Yeah, that one doesn't even go in all the way. Okay. We find a, I've got a kit with some more of those. These ones don't fit very well. Let me try a different one. I think that's it, yep. And leaving that race in the, in the axle tube is not an option because again, we saw that the replacement bearings are uh, multi-pieced units. And this one, do you, do you fit? That one doesn't fit either. Hmm. Maybe this one. Not a chance. That one does not fit. Okay, so how do I get you to come out? Think, 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 Ray. I could cut it down. Just chop it off ever so slightly. Oh, wait a minute here. Look at that. I lucked out. I'm silly. That doesn't press in at all. See that thing move? Look, it moves, I can turn it. Ah, okay. Well then, abracadabra, come out, bearing race. Got superhuman flangy strength, that's what's going on here. I can just pull races by hand. This is like the first time ever, ever, ever. Got it. Yeah, that's one race. Cool, I was wrong, no slide hammer needed. I spoke too soon? Nope, this one's coming out too. Look at that. Oh good, we get to finish off on a positive. That's awesome. Yay! Come on. Oh, no tools required. It's now stuck. Oh yeah it is, I got it stuck. Oops, epic fail. Hmm. Well, again. 
I had it a little cattywampus sideways like. Just walk it out. Boop. I like the sound that it makes. Come on. Come out. Ah, hit you guys in the face with a race. Got it though. Cool. And that bore looks really good. Fantastical. We win. All right, it is now a waiting game until Park show up. So, uh, that being said, I have no more to offer you on this particular video. We'll get back to this later on. Um, next time around, I'm going to go ahead and do some press action with those new bearings. We're going to install this, and then I'm going to turn the truck back over to Troy, because this is his project and not mine. I jumped in on it in the middle, but I uh, figured since we ran into some difficulty, I would uh, I'd illustrate that for you guys. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close this one out right now. And I will do such things by thanking each and every one of you, as always, for watching this video. Certainly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, let us know about it by tapping that like button down below. Drop a comment or two while you're down there. And most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. End of Jeep.